Hello. <clears throat> okay. So I'm working kind of fast on this one because I have a deadline, but I, I put all the paper pieces that were, I was having dry on my cutting mat and I stuck them on. That's all you have to do. You stick them on with, with the um, tacky glue and then you use the twist ties and you gently twist them. I'm still getting a couple of dents. But once you put the whole house together, it's, it's not that noticeable. This is going to be covered with brick also because the front of the house is brick. But for right now, I'm just letting this dry. Okay, so when you put the paper pieces which is, which are, you know, basically the walls. When you put them on with tacky glue, you wrap, you wrap the house with the uh, pipe cleaners and you let it dry for a while. But then you're gonna have some gaps. You're gonna have gaps on every corner, every corner. So every corner is not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna look that great. So what you wanna do is you get another piece of the same paper and you measure it, you hold it right here. And then you cut it like that. Okay, so if there was a gap right here, well, that's not a good end. Let's do this edge. If there was a gap right here, you cut the paper so it'd be right here. And then I use this, I have this thing that I bought a long time ago, this little paper cutter. It's a cutter. This is a cutting blade so you can get sharp edges. And then this one folds paper. So I, so I use the black one to make a crease You put it up at the edge. And then you make the crease. They sell these at craft stores. I'm sure you can buy them online. And so now I have a crease, nice straight crease, and then I just fold it like this. And you can use the tacky glue again. Or Mod Podge is fine. I have used that before too, and it sticks really well. And you put it, you put it on that area. You put it on the gap. And after you put the glue, you just go like this. Make sure it's all stick, sticking, 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 sticking. And that's the part that you see now. So I, I put the paper on to cover the gaps. And I did it on this one too. And it's the same concept for the roof. I put the two pieces of the roof on and I wait for them to dry for a little bit. I always wait a couple of hours in between each step. This is gonna take, you know, these houses take a long time. I just do something else while they're drying. After a couple of hours, then I measure a piece for up here. You do the same thing. You cut it, you crease it, and you glue it into place. So that covers that gap. Now there's also these little gaps here. And I covered those with more pieces of paper. As long as it's all the same uh, type of paper that you're using for the house, it looks, it looks fine, it blends right in. So I glue those in place uh, with Maj Podge or um, tacky glue. Now the back of this house had a little bit like the, the top, the second floor came out. So I added some foam board and glued it on. And that's in place. So now it has this like, you know, a three dimensional 
look. Um, and I have to put windows. And so then the windows, I just use, I cut a bunch of windows. And it depends on the, you know, the picture that they send me, what color I choose for the windows. It's just two pieces of paper like this. This house has shutters. So I have to make the shutters too. But I just have to look at the picture and there's four windows in front and then I just have to line them up. The peak of the house is right down the middle. So I just do, you know, I'll do two on each side plus the shutters. And I'm starting to make a door. So I just use paper on paper. I don't know if you can see it. So it creates a little door frame. And then doors usually always have like other tiny details on them. And I add those. This is the back sliding door. So my next steps are, once this dries, I'm gonna take the um, pipe cleaners off. I'm gonna put the brick, um, it's gonna cover most of the front. Then I'm gonna put the windows. And after I do the brick and the windows, then we're going to glue it into place on the board and make the landscape. Okay, I guess that's it for now and um, I'll be back with the next video.